Hello, and welcome to Dead by Daylight. I'd like to make very clear right now that uh, I sp just spent the last five minutes uh, basically recording all of the issues I have with this game fundamentally from the outset, just as a game, how it's sold, that it's, like, ev everything about Dead by Daylight as a game in the non-game sense if that makes any sense as a product dead by daylight is like shooting yourself in the teeth basically because it's a seven-year-old game you're paying 30 fucking dollars for it which doesn't even give you like half of the content that's in this fucking game and I'm supposed to stand here and act as though that's perfectly acceptable. I absolutely fucking will not. You could absolutely make this game to play offline. But if you go to custom games, you realize you only had the option to invite friends, which is quite interesting. That also means you couldn't split screen this. So you can't play it offline. You can't play it local co-op. You can only play it online and hands if you thought for a second oh wait but hold on you could totally do this offline you just make the characters bots oh but you know creating bots is super complicated blah, blah, blah. they can do it with bots and as proof of that i literally just completed tutorials for both the survivors and the killers which bought the enemy team so they can make bots, they can produce this offline, and li literally every other game that's not a live service fucking game is also standing bulletproof irrefutable evidence that you could release a game like this with all of the content available from the outset, and you could play it offline. So, just like to say, right off the bat, don't spend money on this game. I spent money on this game. Don't do what I did. I did what I did on an impulse. I don't advise you follow my fucking impulses. Sometimes I make stupid fucking decisions. That 30 fucking dollars could go towards something far more deserving. There are other video games far more deserving of 30 fucking dollars than Dead by Daylight. And I haven't even properly played it yet. I don't give a shit. No matter what this game delivers to me as an experience, absolutely no experience it could ever conceivably offer even comparing it to my favorite games of all times including halo reach one of my top three favorite games of all times primarily a multiplayer game infinitely better value than this game infinitely better value every day of the week dead by daylight piece of shit halo reach far better game just as a product, not even just as a game, but as a product. Never mind how it runs, never mind how it looks, never mind how it plays, never mind its game mechanics or game logic or anything like that, its aesthetic and style, nothing. Whatsoever, just as a product, Halo Reach, infinitely better game. Infinitely better game. Ch in qu unquantifiably infinitely better game. And I'm sure Halo Reach is going for less than $30 these days. Just a thought. And you can create asymmetric custom games in Halo Reach, which I've done. I've created a uh, Predator map, or not a Predator map, but a Predator game type in Halo Reach, where basically one person is cloaked, and they're running around with a Spartan laser, and all the other players are trying to huddle up and figure out where they are so they can gun them down. Uh, focus fire them down. Super fun! Had tons of fun with that. Asymmetric gameplay. Awesome. You could do that. You could create that game type and many, many other types of games in Halo Reach. Now, isn't even the fucking main way to play that game. Go fucking figure. Anyway... So, just want to make it absolutely clear. My opinion of the developers of this game, in terms of what they bring to the table as a product at the end of the day, and the sort of, you know, 
multi-currency, gatekeeping, freemium, mobile phone, live service, microtransaction-y bullshit. The piecemeal fucking cancer that is this $30 seven-year-old fucking game is that I will kindly take them by the face and slide them between my poopy ass cheeks. And not even that will convey how much I feel negatively towards them for developing this piece of shit. But none of that is to actually talk about this game. And it's, it's experience as a game, Gabe. Like, it's quality as a game. Like, you can talk about how Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel is, like, enormous fucking bullshit in every conceivable frame of the imagination just as, like, a card game 20 years after it debuted. But you can also talk about um, it as a live service game and how it's now gouging you for content that came in the fucking box and the last game they released, Legacy of the Duelist, Legacy of the Duelist, buy that! Infinitely better game than Master Duel. If I had the option to take Legacy of the Duelist or Master Duel, I would take Legacy of the Duelist every single fucking time. If I had a choice between, you know, choosing any ordinary rational human being or Adolf Hitler on a bad day, I would always take not Hitler. Go fucking figure. It's a big fucking mystery. But anyway, maybe I can use that as a transition because I'm just going to ramble on indefinitely at this rate to say we're going to play as Hitler today. Uh, in that sense, is that, uh, I mean, in one way, I'm like, I, I feel a little bit guilty in that, you know, I don't want to play as the survivors, but I want to play as a killer. But then, like, who doesn't want to play as a killer, right? Everybody wants to play as a fucking killer. So, you know, I'm going to disproportionately wait you know, everybody's game experience towards most people wanted to play the killer. I'm assuming. I'm not sure really how fun it is to play as the survivors. Maybe the survivors like getting scared, and they like horror games, but I'm not that person. I don't like playing horror games. And that's going to be my rationalization, apart from the fact that there's literally two separate modes, play as killer, play as survivor, for why I'm going to play as a killer. So this is going to be my killer playthrough. You start with, like, seven of the killers. I'm just going to do the trapper. The trapper is the one that was in the tutorial. And he's pretty simple. I mean, he's rated as easy. And I don't really have an issue with, like, his gameplay style at all. Um, I fucked with the controls a bit. Um, so I might have to unfuck them later. Um, but uh, I started on this before I really decided on how I want to go about, like, perks and everything. So, you start with the power. I don't know if you can ever change this power. It looks like there's, like, a slot you can just put stuff in. But I know that there's add-ons, so there's, like, items you can collect that I haven't collected anything from. Offerings. Offerings alter how the game is played. They can have various effects, such as charging, changing the number of chests, sacrificial hooks, or increasing blood point rewards. So, at least credit to this game, there's, like, a fairly in-depth, like, perk system. And my understanding is all of the, uh, killers start with, uh, base level, three unique base level perks. But then if you quote-unquote prestige the killer, then all of their perks become available at level one for all other killers. And then those killers can develop them up to level three again, which is pretty cool. That means you can create a pretty custom uh, killer character uh, if you play the game a lot. So that's interesting. Uh, you don't need to feel like super pigeonholed into like the one specific gameplay style that that killer has necessarily. Bear traps are, you know, one thing. But uh, anyway, so we got these three perks to start off with. This is all we have. So I know agitation is popular. I've heard it multiple times in like gameplay videos and stuff. And just to say right off the bat, I'm not blind to this game uh, in the sense that I've seen enough gameplay to understand basically how it's played. And I don't really appreciate like the in-game logic of how it's presented. There's four survivors 
that are in a random location that need to power five generators to open two doors to escape. Why are we operating by Five Nights at Freddy's logic? Why do we need to power doors to open, let alone when it seems like almost all of these environments are, like, outdoors? So you're needing to power doors to escape an outdoor area. And then on top of that, you know, you can talk about the killer's weapons and powers and all that from the till the end of the day, but at the end of the day... Everybody is going Silent Night, Deadly Night on the other player, on the uh, survivors, by throwing them all up on hooks. And uh, I don't know if that was Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 2 or whatever, but the, the Santa Claus guy throws up, like, uh, one of the people on some, like, deer antlers and hooks them. Um, for what it's worth, I hate horror games, but as it happens... I like high-concept movies, so as it turns out, I've actually seen a shit ton of horror movies. Not all of them, uh, definitely not all the ones that feature, like, the killers in these games. I know some of these are, like, just, like, natively developed for the game. But, like, um, I've seen Nightmare on Elba Street, but I haven't seen Halloween, so stuff like that. Anyway, so I'm aware of agitation, um, but of these three, this one says, uh, uh, survivors within my terror radius have a 10% greater chance of basically failing their skill checks and their skill checks are easier to fail. Like, that's cool and all. And uh, agitation, obviously, moving people with bodies is a little bit faster and you can ramp this up to go faster and faster. It also increases my terror radius, which I'm not really understanding the purpose of. Um, but uh, brutal strength, destroy dropped pallets, breakable walls, and generators 10% faster. That's really useful, um, because you're going to be breaking a shit ton of shit as we're uh, running around this. So I'm going to take that. That's going to be my one perk. It looks like we don't get another perk until we're level 5. I'm not sure what it takes to get to that. Then we have a blood web. This is like our uh, skill tree, basically. Um, we have two options. That's a special perk. Uh, this option, I have a bunch of... Uh, what are these blood points to start off with i have this add-on which makes it so i can't trip my own bear traps which did happen a couple times when you first set a bear trap you could freely walk over it but then after a while if you walk over again you trip it which kind of sucks um disarming my own bear traps when i walk on it kind of sucks but basically happens anyway i'll take this okay this it refers to hex totems, and I literally know nothing about how totems work at all. Um, but let's go back to our loadout. Add on. I really don't like any game that has this, like, free-floating cursor. Because I'm using a controller. Just let me use a D-pad. We can customize the killer a little bit. Do we have a different outfit? Nope. Different weapon. Got a machete. The pain flail. Okay. I don't know. We'll just go with the machete. Why not? And then we can change the mask. Ornate mask. Let's go with the glowy All Hallows eyes. That's fine. I just start off with all of these automatically, even though, like, this is an ultra rare mask. Chuckles. I don't, I don't know what that's about. So, okay. So I got, like, the, what I think is, like, the most basic of basic starts. Oh, it said play as killer. How do I play as killer? Oh, ready? Okay, we're gonna hit ready. Searching for match. So again, this is gonna be the first time I've ever played this online. Here's hoping it works properly. I'm not sure if matches are gonna be long enough to ram just one per video or what and again searching for a match make may also take longer just because i think players prefer to play as killers and not the survivors i could be wrong could try playing as one of the survivors too but i want to give uh, a killer run a shot oh looks like we joined 
I don't know if it's going to throw me into voice chat right away. I really don't want it to. It shouldn't. Hello. Can anybody hear me? I'm not hearing anybody say anything. Maybe they can hear each other and not me. That would make a bit of sense. I'm readied up. They're just waiting for one of their guys. What is this? The archives. Oh, that's some event thing. No, no, no. Okay, as I understand it, they don't know what killer I'm playing until they're actually in the game. What is this about? Tremendously increases chance... Okay, I don't know it. I guess I get automatically assigned some perks at the start of each match. I don't know what those are. I don't know how that works. Are those the gameplay modifiers? I wasn't able to read them. It could significantly alter the way I play the game, but I don't know. There's a lot of mechanics in this game that are, are not, like, they're conveyed in the tutorial, but it's not conveyed very clearly if uh, you're just watching someone play the game. So every killer has a terror radius, which means uh, anytime a survivor is uh, within your terror radius, depending on how close they are, they get a heartbeat audio indicator indicating that they're close to you. You also, like, project, like, a red light in front of you, so anyone that sees a red light in front of them as they're running knows that the killer is right behind them. Um, in addition to that... Um, Survivors, anytime they run, they leave something called red scratch marks. What the fuck is this? I have no idea what that is. They leave red scratch marks, which uh, indicates that a survivor is nearby. So I have two traps to start with. And I can pick up two, or I can set these. Should do this. I've got to remember that I changed the controls. Eh. Hello. I'll get out of here. Alright, here we go. So they're gonna be quietly working on the generators. Oh, someone fucked up over here. I see you. Oh, <laughs> you're making it very easy for me. Thank you. Can I uh, set this right here? Sorry. Excuse me. I think he's in there. Thank you. Oh, it's a it's it's instantly a drop. Every character has like two hits on them. Yeah. Um. So if I hit them once, normally it... yeah. I thought there was a hook. Oh, there is a hook right here. I just can't see it. Hang. There we go. Try to dissuade people from saving him. I gotta remember that. Hi there. Nice. Let's reset this one. Excuse me. Get over here. Okay, they're wiggling on me and it kind of fucks up my controls. They're really fucking up their generators.
Hi there. So those are the scratches, those indicate he was nearby. Hi there. They can also blind me with their flashlights. Gotta be wary of that. There we go, nice. Get over here. So if I hook them three times, they automatically die. Kill them outright, though. Fortunately, I don't think I'm playing against two two skilled players. God damn it! Oh, I killed one already. How do I manage that? What is that? I haven't seen any generators in progress yet. Come on, where are we? Nobody here. Gotcha. <laughs> that worked out surprisingly well. Someone tripped this. Or maybe I tripped it. I don't know. Someone downstairs. Ooh. Nice. Hi there. Excuse me. Oh, that guy died. Sweet. I'm gonna set this up right here. Yeah, someone's around here. They just run upstairs, they just ran back upstairs. I like that I can trap the survivors, try to dissuade people from showing up. So it's just gonna be the other guy now. They still haven't gotten any. This is in progress though. How do I get through here? Oh, here we go. They didn't finish this. She's not struggling yet. Oh, there you are. Come on. Finally, give me my first win. Ah. Oh, I juked you. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, you're the last guy. I think that's game. It's game, right? I won. <laughs> I won my first match. With, like, no perks. Sweet! I won somehow. That's cool. Progression available. Spend blood points. That went uh, a lot faster than I expected. I didn't realize, like, I, I didn't realize that I guess trapping injures them, right? They get they get hit by the bear trap, they take they take a hit, and then when I hit them a second time, constitutes a second hit. I guess I guess I was just doing a good job trapping them. Uh setting a bear trap is silent. I mean I guess. I don't know how I expand all of this. Low down. None remaining. None remaining? What do you mean by that? What do you mean none remaining? I'm confused about that. Do I consume these when I play them? I didn't think I did. Is that why there's multiple options to get these? Oh, it's back now. That's weird. If these are consumables, these don't seem worth it. I don't want to fucking waste my time with, like, consumables that only work for one game. Can I even buy them again? After a game? I have no idea. I guess I'll just, uh, set up for another match, I guess. I'm still level one. It said blood web level one. Does that mean, or is that level two that I'm at in the top, top right? I have no idea what my level is. I don't know how to advance levels. I feel like sometimes it's difficult to see what I'm doing in the environment. Like, as the killer, I feel like I have to... I, I feel like my... I gotta be, like, way up close to the screen. And then as a survivor, everything is so dark, and I... I you, you don't actually see where all the, uh, the generators are, or at least even, like, visible generators. You just gotta pick it out of the actual environment. The killers can just see the generators at all times. It's kind of a pain in the ass, so I can just accidentally walk by, like, one of the main objectives of the game by accident. Maybe these guys will kick my ass. They readied up. Let's see how this goes. Five percent uh, blood points. Blood points. I again, I couldn't read all of that. Provides just bonus blood points for something. I don't know what that's all about. What does it take to prestige a character? Does that mean getting up to like level fifteen, or is that like laughably not? not what I need. Do I need to be, like, level 30 or some bullshit? Like, I just gotta, like, get to, like, some absurd mastery level for a, for a character somehow. In fairness, I'll probably play some of this off-camera just because, just to become more familiar with it after this, too.
Okay. Now we're outdoors now. Which is, uh, Muma style. Alright, let's see how this goes. Gotta remember to collect traps when I have the opportunity, and there are gonna be a lot of opportunities to do that. I'm moving pretty quickly. Maybe I should start setting some traps. Hi there. How you doing? Ah, I missed. Couldn't figure out how to do that, huh? Understandable. I'm new too. It's okay. I see you running. You also have a very reflective outfit for some reason. sure you don't go nowhere. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> He's trying to di like disarm my trap somehow. Can you even do that? Excuse me. I guess I'll just use this hook then. My traps weren't super effective. Annoying. Where are you? Oh, she juked me. There we go. You just took him off the hook, didn't you? Yeah, you did. Oh, damn it. I tripped my own trap. I have a perk to prevent that. Come on. I literally had. Wait, no, I had an add on to prevent that. I e re equipped the add on! What do you want from me, game? Come on. Come on. There we go. Oh, she's. she's full health, damn it. someone down somewhere. They didn't realize they could teleport. Okay. I take the opportunity to destroy this. It regresses their progress.
Hi there. Where's she going? There she is. Yeah! Nice. As intended. They have three more generators to go, which is not great. Oh, hi there. Oh, I almost got you there. Nice. Hi there. Oh, fuck off. You like tripped every trap I had. You guys back the fuck off. Yeah, I saw you there. You're in a very bright outfit. doing? I don't understand what you're doing. Uh, I kill that one? Nice. I'm waiting for the hook to reset. Oh no, it's gone. Never mind. Stop wiggling! Ah, she got free. Where'd she go? What? Not leaving scratch marks. What's that about? I don't know how you manage that. Maybe a perk? I'm not familiar with any such perk. Got two generators to go. <laughs> These people are really liking to huddle up. So I'm going to try to be more watchful. killed one of them so far. Hi there. I keep caught on my own trap. Damn it. one started. She's off the hook now. something. There we go. Excellent. Hook, please.
Oh, you're dead. Never mind. Take that back. We reset this. We're gonna reset this one. Nice. Two are dead. They only have two generators left to go, though. Oh, someone just screwed up. Get over here. Murder. Run back over here. Juking me hard. Get over here. Oh, he ran into a corner. That's no good. Give me that hook. I think I'm doing okay as a killer so far. I haven't progressed past two in a while. Oh, they're dead. Sweet. One more left, though. That also means that I believe a secret door is opened up. So there's one player left, and they're damaged. I'm just gonna run over here, grab this trap. I see you. Ugh. What are you doing? Oh. I think they're just standing there waiting for me. Is that it? Is that game? Oh, they died, I guess. Yay, won my second one. Okay, so I guess that's like two games per video so far. Assuming I'm doing okay. Upgrade? Oh, it looks like upgrades. Two different options to go to the progression screen. Grade progress. Okay. I am level two, I guess. Okay, that's interesting. So if I hit continue, where does this bring me then? Does it just automatically throw me back into matchmaking? No, brings me back here. Okay. Um, well, that's something. Um, I'm not super satisfied with the blood web. Do I need to unlock this? I have a lot of blood points. I'll do that. Level two. 
Oh, okay. So I need to, like, get everything for it to unlock new stuff. Reveals the aura. Common offering. Common offering. I'm confused about some of this. Okay, so this is an offering. Reveals the aura of the basement hooks to you for 20 seconds at the start of the trial. Tremendously increases the chance of spawning the basement spawning the basements in the killer shack. If the map has a killer shack. I have no idea what that means. Uh, moderately thickens the dark mist. The dark mist? Like, makes it harder for players to see? Is that what they mean? I don't know about that. Uh, hex totem stuff. All the hex stuff that I've read. I, I don't understand how any of that works, honestly. I guess we'll just unlock all of this. No reason not to, right? Level 3. What is this? Mystery box. I, I got... What is this? Arcane dousing rod. Event offering. Taps into the latent energy of the entity's realm to find even more concentrated pockets of power. Provides a plus 100% blood points bonus to event hooks. Completing event generator repairs. Provides a directional cue and unstable rifts, but that's all an event stuff. I don't know what that's about. Uh, tremendously increases the chance of spawning the hatch in the killer shack. Again, I don't know what the killer shack is. Padded jaws. Bear traps do not inflict damage. Negates the effects of Russia's jaws and straight jaws. Points awarded for trapping survivors are increased. And that's kind of lame. Deer Stalker unlocks potential ones or reading ability. Reveals dying survivors' auras when standing within a 20 meter range. That's just if they're like on the ground, though, right? That's not super useful unless I like can't find someone I dropped on the ground. Uh, chance of spawning hatch in main building. I, again, I'm not under. I, I really don't understand why these are limited use. I don't like it. Added jaws again. That again. Jolt. Putting a survivor into the dying state with a basic attack causes all generators to explode instantly and begin regressing. That's kind of interesting. I actually kind of like that. Well, five perk slot to. Oh, that's what it takes to unlock perk slots. Oh, okay. Okay, so I don't need to be, like, actually, like, player level 5. Okay. Increase bear trap setting speed. I don't understand why the add-ons are consumables. That sucks. Distressing. Your terror radius increased by 22%. Gain 100% more blood... That's... I don't care about blood point, like, unlock rate. Arcane dousing rod. Again... Hollow Shell grants... Whatever. Sorry, what is this one? Spawning a hatch in the main building if the building has a men. So basically it makes it easier to find the hatch. For me, I would say. Increases bear trap setting speed. But that also means it's easier for other players. If they're expecting it. Scourge Hook Monstrous Shrine. The start of the trial up to four random hooks are changed into Scourge Hooks. You see their auras in white. Scourge hooks grant 10% faster entity progression if the killer is not within 24 meters. So if I leave someone on the hook, they die faster. Okay, that's something. Um, you gain one charge of Blighted Rush that replaces your killer power until consumed. Press the power button to initiate a Blighted Rush, allowing you to quickly dash forward only playable during the Haunted Daylight event. 5% haste status effect for after setting a bear trap. Increase the chance to be sent to the Garden of Joy when burnt. Do we burn offerings? I don't know how this works. A hex is uh, rooting its power on hope, false hope. For each dull and hex totem remaining on the map, gain a token. I'm gonna need to look up this totem stuff. Gain 10% more, but whatever. Level 8. If I can get to 10, I can have a 3 perks at least. 
Uh, whatever. Honestly, increases chance of being sent to whatever. Insidious. Standing still for four seconds grants you undetectable until you move or act again. Okay, well that kind of sucks because my character is standing up. Spending a lot of blood points, but I'm hoping this is worthwhile. Replacement for bear traps, which changes the usual dual spring system with four coil springs, adding a great amount of strength to the trap's hold. Increases time required for survivors to disarm bear traps by 32%. Okay. I'm underwhelmed by the add-ons so far. Improves Deerstalker. Okay. Alright, I am level 10 now. Okay, now what? What do we got access to? Jolt. Or perf. I think this is a cool one. You can also get improved, uh... Pardon? Why can't I get this? I don't know why I can't get this. Whoa! All of a sudden, you're being prohibitive with what I can unlock. I don't like that. Can I reset my skill tree? Dude, you just locked me out of unlocks. Don't tell me there are permanently missable unlocks. It's fucking bullshit. I have no idea what any of that shit's about. Level 2 of that. Let's get it. Wax brick. I didn't realize it was going to prohibit me from unlocking everything. I was able to unlock everything else up to now. What's that about? Like, just that I can unlock that. I don't understand the logic here. Iron grasp. Effects of st survivor struggling are reduced by 75%. Time to struggle out of your grasp is increased by 4%. That's so minor. Okay, whatever. Let's just go to load out. What am I going to add in here? I like this. 10% faster with that. Increases time to re is escape bear traps. Uh, they are inflicted with deep wound. Will put survivor in the dying state unless it is mended before the timer runs out. <gasps> oh. Oh, okay. So they have a timer put on them that will put them in the dying state. That seems really strong. So that's an add-on. It's a fucking add-on. How do I get these add-ons? Is the blood web just infinite? I don't understand this. Start with an extra bear trap. Allows transportation of extra bear traps. Inflict hemorrhage. Hemorrhage regresses healing progress are not healed and increases blood trails left by... I'm not looking at blood trails. Increases setting speed. Not be caught in his own bear trap. No. Do that. Grab this. Deep wound. Now perks. Okay, so these are level 2 perks right now. Jolts. Survivor in dying state explodes generators within range. Reveals dying survivors' auras. Maybe I should just like focus on like getting guys into dying state. Maybe that's just a build. Lengthened jaws. But it all requires this add-on, and this add-on is expendable so far as I know. That sucks. I guess I'll do that. I'll do the breaking thing. How close am I to level 15? What does it take to get to level 15? What is this? Iron grasp. I'll do that. It's a perk, right? It's permanent. 
I don't know why it suddenly like prohibited me from access. Yeah, I couldn't get that last one. What's that shit about? Claustrophobia, each time a generator is repaired, all windows and vault locations within 32 minutes. 32 meters are blocked for all survivors. Ooh. That actually seems pretty good. Uh, greatly thickens the dark mist. Loom. Spies from the shadow. 100% of the time, clawing crows give you a visual cue when you are within 20 meter range. A 20 meter range. That's not great, but I do know crows can uh, cause a lot of noise. Okay, level 15, perk slot 4. What is this? Fully improved jolt. Let's get it, why not? Bladed serum, okay. Loadout. Okay, that's fully upgraded. Now what do I put in this last roll? Claustrophobia, that seems good. No, 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 no. You screwed this up. That should be this. And that should be claustrophobia. Okay. And then offering. I don't know how any of this stuff works. Greatly thickens the dark mist. I don't want to inhibit myself, you know. But I got, like, some detection abilities and stuff now, so. I don't know how it works. But anyway, I'm going to give this a shot off screen, and then I'll come back with feedback, I guess. Maybe. We'll see how this goes. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.